Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to the client renovation part of part three of my homeless decorator challenge. So if you're coming over from there, welcome. And if you're um, not, um, you might want to go check over that part before you watch this or you can just watch the speed renovation, which is all this is, is from the home decorator um, pack and I'm just renovating a client. So in this case, of course, because the client has likes and dislikes, I am taking those in mind and we're renovating the betas who live in San Maishuno, which is obviously it comes with city living and their likes were Island and Queen Anne and their dislikes were the color white and modern decor. So when I am going through, I do a lot of, I use the filters a lot, a lot. I don't use the filters necessarily from like the client up on the top left hand corner because that pulls everything up and I usually just want the category that I'm looking at so I will just physically use the filters that are there. I've been using them for a long time even before the pack came out because I also do some a challenge once a month most of the time with Havana Sims and sometimes she has done it where they're limited like we have to do certain filters so I'm kind of used to using the filters for that or I do um, limited pack builds and I use the filters for by pack. In this case, sometimes I use the filter by pack not to limit it, but because like say in the case with that little divider there, that's sort of between the baby's area and the parent's sleeping area, I knew that came with a Moschino stuff pack, but I didn't know what it was called. So for me, the easiest way to find it was to just filter by the pack. And then I wasn't sure if it was modern. So then I filtered by modern to make sure that it didn't show up there and it didn't. And I filtered by white to make sure that the color that I got wasn't white. <laughs> so kind of, a, uh, you know, looking at what they don't like to try and figure out that what you want to use isn't included in that and, and, you know, to pick a different color than the color they don't like. I do that a lot. It's a lot easier when you just know their likes. Well, not, it's good to know their dislikes. <laughs> But if it's, it's easier if they don't have dislikes is really what I'm saying. And as you can tell, there's only the three likes on that client summary there, which is what they're showing there is that they like Queen Anne and that they like Island. And it doesn't show that they don't like modern, but I made sure I asked the clients like just generally under the friendly interactions, their favorite colors and their, you know, their decor and also their hobbies. Sometimes I find it useful, but most of the time I ignore the hobbies altogether. And um, unless it seems relevant to the room that I'm renovating, or I might take inspiration from it. I know I was, you know, playing with a different one where they liked skiing or snowboarding or something like that. So then I used some items from Snowy Escape, which didn't conflict with anything they didn't like kind of thing as part of decor items. So I'll like take some inspiration from it if it seems appropriate. So this room itself is really ends up being mostly island, though I do use some Queen Anne items in here, but definitely <laughs> an emphasis on the island. But you can you can see me constantly filtering, filter, filter, filter. And um, when I did my first gig or so, I did kind of start with what was up in the top left hand corner and having it pull up, but it pulls up the whole catalog. And I just want to like look at plants and I want to filter by the plants. I don't want to see everybody or everything I should say. And uh, yeah, so it's just kind of funny. It's not so hard with this one because it's more if they like modern, if they don't like modern and they like the mid-century, then you might have to be more careful because of the overlap. I don't know how the game, you know, because essentially it's the game, obviously looking at it knows what the filters are in the first place. This is my expectation. And I had looked to make sure that they didn't have a computer because I knew Arun, Arun is in the um, tech guru career. So I figured it would be really, really handy for him to have a computer at home. So I stuck a little desk in this corner because I had the money because the bed that I got rid of was really, really expensive. <laughs> so I got them a computer. And uh, this is Queen Anne. This is Jer that he gets as Queen Anne. So it's definitely a mixture of uh, mostly Island and a little bit of Queen Anne. And then I got him a computer, which I couldn't get him a laptop because that was considered modern. <laughs> I don't I don't know how fussy the game is with things like that but I figure why take a chance especially in this case because my sim had like no money and they <laughs> needed to do well as you know get the most chances of doing well as she can and here I think of that that was I just hit escape twice and it brought up the you know the menu which I didn't got rid of 
And at this point, you can see I've gone over budget. Well, I can't go over budget because then that, I would think would not be good. I don't think the clients would like that very much. I have never gone over budget. I've gone really close. I've gone right to budget. Or I've spent like I have two simoleons left or something like that. And uh, yeah, I was like, what can I get rid of? That That's what I got rid of. <laughs> <laughs> and then with these plants, I really wish they had a category where you could you knew what went on things versus what were floor plants. And I know you could use move objects and move them up, but I'm not because I want to make sure that it's playable for the Sims. And I'm not going to, you know, have my Sim try and figure out what works. I want her to get out of there <laughs> and get home. So I can't, I don't really have time to be testing it. So there I got, got it all. And then I decide that, well, there's white in the, the uh, crown molding and the floor trim. So we should look for a different wall covering than what was already there and I decided I didn't like that one didn't really go so in the end you'll see me like going through what's island what's Queen Anne I end up going with uh probably just whatever just making sure that it's not modern but I go with the same color that's here just that it's without the crown molding and the trim on the floor I can't do anything about the fact the windows are white because it's you know the city and I can't do anything about that unless you use a tool object and then you can change them. So here's just like a brief slideshow of the before and after that obviously would have been shown in the Let's Play 2. And we got really thrown because I didn't realize that the baby wasn't in the picture. So um, I noticed it when I was taking the after pictures, but I didn't notice it when I was taking the before, but the baby is not in the before <laughs> pictures either. So I kind of lost my bearings when I was like looking at the teeny little pictures and trying to pull the slideshow together. But I can see better now with the big <laughs> where the baby should have been and that they're not really matching but the game doesn't care so that's fine so this is kind of it for this sort of speed renovation leave a like if you like the video it really helps with the algorithm thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time bye